Hey guys, Nathan Duck River Honey here, and I need to assemble some medium frames. So I'm going to use this simple jig that I made, and while I was doing that, I thought I would show it to you guys. I don't take credit for this. I saw this on the Instepler's blog, and I kind of pirated it. Um, but I wanted to show it to you guys in case it helps someone else, because it's pretty handy for me. Uh, this is just a one by four box, very, very simple to make. I didn't use any joinery, I just glued and screwed it. So let's get some measurements and I'll show this to you in detail. Width is 15 and 7 sixteenths, and length 19 and 3 eighths. And as you can see, I've got these two pipes in here. Uh, this is just a three quarter piece of aluminum stock that I already had. And these are followers. So you can see I just drilled holes here at the ends, and those holes are three-eighths away from the ends, which is just enough space to put the end bars of the frames in. And it'll hold 10, so you just line them up. So I found the easiest way for me to assemble these is to start with the bottom bars because they don't have anything holding them in to the end bars except for the glue and staple. And if you have any irregularity in the box, if it's not square or parallel, uh, get, the in, get the bottom bar in first and then when you flip it and put the top bar in, it's got ears on it that will hold tension and uh, just makes it a little easier to assemble. So we'll get started with the glue up. Again, I'm just uh, using a glue bot here that makes it much simpler. You wanna make sure that you get glue on the long grain because the end grain does not hold nearly as well. I'm using a narrow crown stapler here with a quarter inch by one and a quarter Senco or Sencoat adhesive coated staple. And uh, I use these for the, the top bars and the bottom bars. You just have to be a little more careful uh, with these longer staples on the bottoms. Flip these. Glue up the other side. If anything's going to pop off, it's probably going to be the top bar, so you want to make sure you get plenty of glue on them.
shoot two of these into the top. There's plenty of room for that. You just have to have a little bit of care. Now, you just have to pull the follower boards out. Your frames dump right out. Ready to dry. Now I've just got to uh, repeat that about a hundred times. Who is this for? Honestly, I think it's for just about every beekeeper uh, who wants to save a little money by buying unassembled frames and then assembling them yourself. If you're doing any kind of volume at all, um, the most expensive part of this would be the staple gun. Um, and that's an investment that honestly I've used for a lot of other woodworking tasks. You can use it to replace a, a pin nailer or brad nailer, um, hold things together, mock things up. I've found it really handy at times. Um, so that's probably the most expensive part of this whole thing. Um, I don't know how many frames it would take to make yourself to make that investment pay back, but um, I'm pretty happy with this solution for me and my needs. So big operations, um, you know, you can make three or four of these things pretty cheaply and quickly and knock out 50 frames at a, at a go. Um, small operations, if you just need, you know, 10 or 20 or 30 or 40, this is a much easier way to assemble them than trying to do it by hand. So I think it's for just about every beekeeper. Almost, uh, almost everybody could benefit from this. Guys, if you found this video helpful, I, I would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. That really does help out. It uh, helps get this video out in front of other people who are looking for bee videos. It shows up in their recommended videos feed. Um, while you're at it, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That'll give you a notification when I post new videos. Until next time.